Assalamu alaikum sisters, today I am coming at you with a little quick video on tips how I make sure my scarf stays on my head. I always get questions what I do, what I use to make sure it won't fly off or will fall off or slip to the back or whatever. So I thought let's just make a little video on what I do to make sure that won't happen. So basically where I'm going to start off with is choosing the right fabric. So first of all, some fabrics work better or stay on better than other fabrics. So chiffon, this is a chiffon scarf. This one slips off faster than a jersey scarf. So this is a jersey scarf. This is kind of like a t-shirt material and it's stretchy so you can really like stretch it around your head. Stretch it around your head sounds maybe a little not uh, the right way to, how to explain it, but it will just really um, form into your face and then it will just stay on the whole day. Chiffon also stays on, but you just have to know how to uh, make sure it stays on. With a jersey scarf, you don't really have to wear a cap underneath, but then with a chiffon, I don't know how people do it without, but a chiffon without a cap underneath, whoa, my whole hair, my hair will come out like this. <laughs> First of all, one tip that I, uh, the most important tip for me is wearing a cap underneath, underneath a scarf because your hair is like really smooth and it will easily glide off. And then with a cap, um, you will make sure it's like kind of holding on to it and we'll make sure it won't slip off. This little cap is from by Aisha. She sells also nude caps, so that's really nice. And this here is another thing that I think is important to make sure the scarf stays on and that's when you're wearing a cap make sure the, the cap is big enough that your hair will go inside of this instead of having a little bun out of it because when the bun is just not secured enough and it will start falling out it's really hard to fix it underneath your scarf um, and this will make sure the bun stays in place then uh, when you have a little bit longer hair uh, we all know that it's really hard to keep the hair in a bun. So I find out, uh, because I was struggling with that so much. So what I do, I use these, yeah, ties, these big ties actually. And I use two of them, because one of them won't stay. Uh, also, I think this is a lot better for your hair instead of those really strong, harsh little ties. These are just a little bit softer for your hair and then I like to use two of them and then my bun will stay in place. And then especially when I wear this cap with these two, I won't have to stress about that. And then I can just wear whatever scarf I want to wear um, on top of that. When you're not wearing a cap and you have a little bun in the back and it starts to like get out of the bun, your hair, I notice that the bun will pull the scarf to the back. So that's why it's really important to that you make sure that your bun is secured because that's going to make sure the scarf stays in place. So that's a really important tip. So a good bun and a cap. And then uh, a lot of you might know these kind of um, clips, these, but I don't like these because once you have put it underneath, um, and it starts to feel more loose. You have to just take it out and make and tie. Out. Whoa! Oh my god, that was painful. I just don't like these because it's not so easy when you want to just make it more tight here. Uh, what I like to use is this here, and I get the question so often where I get these. So this is so easy. The thing that you do is just. Um, like usual, you're holding both pieces and then you put it on top of that. And what I like about it is that once you feel like this is kind of loose, you're just going to pull it a little bit more tight and that's it. So these are just really nice and you're not working with needles. Uh, so you can get these on AliExpress and I also uh, buy these always at my local hijab, hijab stores. I think every hijab store has these. I've never seen a hijab store without these actually. So, But you can also just find them on AliExpress as hijab pin or hijab clip. 
those kind, yeah, those kind of terms. For my taekwondo, I have to make sure that my scarf stays on really good and really tight because, you know, I can get kicks in my on my head and punches and everything. It has to be really secured. That's why I go over uh, my head. This here is the style that I always wear to my taekwondo. I haven't found another scarf style uh, that would stay on as good as this one. I think you also know these kind of pins, just the, the small pins. But what I don't like about these pins is that the end is not big enough and sometimes the pin will just go through my scarf and then it has no uh, use actually. So the pins that I like to use are these. These are just with a little ball on the end, a little pearl. And I also got these just from my local hijab store, but you can just find these as hijab pins on AliExpress or wherever on the internet. So I like these more than the, the little ones. And then this here's the last little tip that I want to give you. The thing is what you need to do with these pins, you should not just stick it in and that's it. You have to do like this, go in and out of the scarf and the little cap. Then you make sure that the scarf and the cap are just um, tucked together or pinned together. So it looks like this. I don't know if you guys can see this. So it's now inside and then you're going outside, inside, outside and inside. So that's how you make sure that the pin stays on all day long. So these are quickly my tips, how I make sure that my scarf stays on. And I can tell you that with these tips and these steps, uh, the scarf will really stay on. I always use jersey scarves, by the way, for my uh, taekwondo, also for the gym. And this way of uh, doing my scarf will just make sure it will survive a fight and sparring and doing whatever. I even jumped from a bridge with this with this scarf style so into the water and it stayed on so these are my tips to make sure it stays on if you guys have uh, or you girls actually if you girls have any questions on um like tips for scarves or whatever maybe you're just starting out then make sure to leave it in the comments um I would like to chat with you guys in the comments and I can also just make a whole video on what you guys would like to see. Please like this video and I will see you guys in my next video.